you designed a guitar. Yeah. This is wild because yeah. you always had this one kind of guitar as long as I could remember. Yeah. And then one day I saw it. P -B P -B PRS. PRS guitars? You could say I redesigned a guitar, right? So uh, I've been a Fender guy my whole life. And Is this your idea? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For years. I mean, I had like a Fender Signature Series Stratocaster. Me too, Mike Eldred. Thank which you. Which we love Mike Eldred. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think for me when Mike Eldred left Fender, that was the beginning of the end of that era. Where, where artists really had people to talk to at that company, and we could call, we could go ahead. Oh, I found the part you're going to be mad about on your ride home. <laughs> this part right here? Oh, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. And I would talk to Fender, and I'd go like, hey, I have this idea for more than a signature model. And I c they never really bit. Right. And, and by the way, I never was like, well, how dare you not take my idea? I never had an issue with that uh. whatsoever. But I wanted to go somewhere they would take my ideas. And right. it was like, hey, let's freshen up the electric guitar, right? Because the electric guitar is still always this vestige of 1950s and 60s car and of surf course. culture. It's still ridiculously tied to vintage car and surf culture. And there's absolutely a place for it. But 60 years later, you're still putting out these tributes to the station wagon, you know, when it comes to the design language of the guitar. And so basically, like... I took those ideas to PRS because Paul Reed Smith is the guy who started the company and he's still there and I talk to him daily and it's like the relationship I used to have with Mike over at Fender which is like you call someone up and you have ideas and you share them and they're not afraid to turn the CNC machine on and build you the thing you're talking about, you know? And, and this is always a difference between someone working at a company who loves what they do and, and then like a venture capital company coming yeah. in and buying the thing because one day you'll call up and you'll go like, Hey, can I get one that's got a rosewood whole rosewood neck? And they'll go. Yeah, it's, it says here you you already got two this year, yeah. and our contract was for two. Right. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> charge you. It's like n no, don't line item this. Mike would send me a thing, and then we would do something together off of that that would make you guys yeah really happy at the end of the yeah, thing. Of you know. Course. So now I do it over at Paul Reed Smith, and. It's not really like thumbing my nose at Fender. I mean, how are you going to get mad at the company? I mean, you'd be like, no more Jimi Hendrix. I can't. I'm boycotting uh, right. mute Jimi Hendrix because right. he played a Stratocaster. It's got to be fun to play something you thought of. Well, though. so now I'm playing this thing that's 100% mine, right? And in Has a it affected your playing or your mood? Or? It's affected my uh, overthinking because right? it's like you, you'll cook for yourself all day and night. And it doesn't matter how it tastes. But as soon as the, you're cooking for other people, uh. you start getting paranoid about every variable of the meal. you know. Yeah. But I've gotten to a point where it feels so good now that I'll never again have a number one guitar. It's Aww. like a basketball player just mm -hmm. changing in and out of shoes. Like I could play a show. I could hand someone my guitar I played that night at the end of the show. And then just get another one and play just the same way on that guitar because it's bespoke for me. Uh. So for the first time, I could go to a guitar center and pull a guitar off the wall and be like, it would feel just like the one I had for 20 years, which is super cool. I it's called it. the Silver Sky. It comes in uh, many colors. PRS guitars of That's vomit cool. yellow, uh, <laughs> uh, chi chicken parmesan. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a cool color? <laughs> chicken parmesan metallic. <laughs> And there's one that has the ceiling from Cantor's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, that's so funny. 